Hey everybody, it's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. It is Thursday, um, <clears throat> February 17th. For those of you that don't know me, again, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, The Real Real, and Thread Up. Um, my day job, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. And I also, in my spare time, like to make YouTube videos. So... Today, what I have for you, and I keep looking down because um, Frankie's here. There's Frankie. Oh, yuck. Okay. Anyway, um, what I have for you guys today is a box that I have never, ever ordered before. Um, it is a 10-piece shoe box, and I'm frightened. Let me tell you guys, I'm really frightened. Um, I... I'm not, I mean, I like shoes, don't get me wrong. I love shoes, I'm a shoe girl. Um, but I don't like strangers' shoes. I hate touching shoes. I hate cleaning shoes. But I was getting nervous because I could not get, I could not score any boxes on Thread Up, And the 10 piece shoe box was open. So I'm like, you know, I gotta have something. So I grabbed one and then sure enough, right after that, the name brand handbag came available. Frankie, you got to say goodbye. You're going to have to go down. So anyway, what I have for you guys today, first time ever for me, is a 10-piece shoe box. This comes from Swanee, Georgia, and that makes me even more nervous. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this beforehand. I'll try not to stab myself. Okay, there we go. And let me just make sure, because I did get two boxes delivered today, but... Um, yep, 10, 10 pairs of shoes for 60 bucks. There is, well, the lid closed. Okay, so there's that. Ooh. Okay. Not going to be able to save the paper, so I'm just going to rip it. And there you go. There is a first peek. So. Oh, Lord. Put these here. Mom, will you grab me a towel to put down here so that I'm not putting these nasty shoes on my desk? Mm -hmm. Okay. The first pair that we have is a pair of slides. Oh, and I'm all up in the camera, not showing you the shoes. These are some black sneaker slides by a bound. Um, I don't know that brand. I don't know if it is a brand. I don't know if it's Walmart, Target. We do not, I do not, oh wait. I think these shoes are called the Daphne Fab and they're a size seven. Hey Frank, get out the paper. I'll take that, Ma. Oh, Thanks. They're a size seven. They might fit you. Anyway, I mean, they're cute. They're actually in pretty good condition. So not much has to be done with that. All right, Frank, no more paper for you. Ma, can you get this paper from him? Okay. All right. We have these Nikes, these slip-on Nikes. They need to be reshaped. You know, I'll have to stuff them with paper. Canvas Nikes, what size are you? They're a big size, I can tell that. These are US 11. So that's a great size to have in my closet. And I don't really, I don't really see, the only thing I have to do with these is stuff them. So, all right, I can hang with those. And wow, these are some Adidas, nine and a half. 
These actually, Frank, you know, these are actually in great condition as well. <clears throat> Pink and gray. These shoes are sweet. If these were my size, I would be keeping these bitches because pink's my color. And I mean, well, let's say I'm wearing a gray um, spiritual yoga sweatshirt, but I just bought these really cool um, Athleta gray jeans, like um, crop jeans. These would look so cute with them, but unfortunately they're not my size. So pink and purple, Adidas, they say cloud foam comfort on the inside. Um, so I don't know, I don't know how much these are worth, but I'm going to get those babies listed. All right. Next up we have Chacos. Oh, and it's on the side too. And these are in good condition as well. It appears, um, I mean, they need a little cleaning up on the footbeds. It looks like there might be some sand in there. And I don't know. How do you figure out the size of these babies? Okay. No. Oh, they're a seven. A se and it looks like a, wi a seven wide. I see a W. Or wait. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe these are a seven wide in Chacos. Never heard of them, don't know if they're worth anything. Um, Y'all let me know if you've heard of some of these. Okay. Oh, I'm down here looking at them. Okay, these are Rikers. Again, another brand I don't know anything about. Hey, Liv. Hi. Hey, Liv. I'm doing a video, guys. Okay, so the teenagers just walked in. I'm doing a video. Oh, crap. And if you see my hair blowing, it's because I have a space heater on. So, anyway, um, these. I got these. And they do appear to be in good condition. They are a size 40. And, you know, they're not a bad shoe. I mean, they're kind of cute. And they have a cushion footbed, a, like a suede cushion footbed. So I'm going to look these bitches up. Who knows? All right. Oh. These are Old Navy, which, you know what? Uh, and they actually don't have much wear on them at all. And I get it. You know, Old Navy does not sell for a whole lot. But these shoes are so stinking cute. You know what? Uh, Somebody is going to want these shoes. What size? And they're a seven. Why are all these shoes seven? No, 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 no. I did get some big ones. Anyway, these are a size seven. Holy cuteness. I love these shoes. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are from Senda. I love these boots. These, if these are a seven and a half, these bitches are mine. So let's see. What size are you? It says 225 on the bottom, whatever that means. There is nothing on the inside of that shoe. Hmm. Anyway, well, they're called Senda. They do not have a size. They look to be pretty tiny. I mean, they they are a seven or smaller. I don't think that these would fit me at all. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So these booties are super cute. If, the, if I can get my foot in them, I will keep them. Otherwise, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. 
All right. We got a few more pairs here. Skechers. These are air-cooled Goga mats. And mom's already ramped up. Oh, Ultra Go is what they're called. And, oh, here's the size. US 10. So I don't know if I'll list these or donate. I'll have to look up comps. I mean, they, they don't seem to be too worn, but I'd have to do some cleaning. All right, we got a couple more pairs. Oh, Tory Birch Baby. And they're tiny as hell. I mean, are they kids shoes or what? Tory Birch. I mean, look at, they're in excellent condition. Oh, is that a size sticker on the bottom? And the size is worn off? Okay. All right, guys, we have some teeny, teeny, tiny Tory Birches. Yeah. I'm going to say these are probably a five or a five and a half. Um, so, anyway. Hmm. Uh, there is a sticker on the bottom, but anyway. So, super cute, super tiny Tory Birches. They do have a little bit of heel drag on them, but they are... Um, oh, and a little bit of that right there. Anyway, and last but not least are these Forever 21, brand new. Well, no, they're not brand new. Forever 21 Peacock Blue Heels. Um don't know what size you they are no clue oh. oh it's in here oh wait maybe not that one all right well it's the size isn't in this one either and honestly um, even though they're brand new um, or brand new, they do, they're not brand new. They do have some wear on them, but they are, they do appear to be in very good condition. I don't know if I will list these or not, maybe for 10 bucks if I can, if I can find the size. So that's one, two with the booties, three with the Tory Birch. Four with the Old Navies. Five with these. Six with the Adidas. Seven with the Slip On Nikes. Eight with the Skechers. Nine with the Abound. And 10 with the Chacos. So, um, <clears throat> all in all, okay, so, Mom, will you grab me some hand sanitizer, please? So, I paid 60 bucks for the box, and um, I don't know a, a lot about a few of the brands that are in here, so I don't really know, but between the Adidas and the Nikes, that should give me a good portion of the box back. And then those Tory Birches, I'll figure out what size they are because I think, if I'm not mistaken, Liv that just walked in here has a really, really tiny foot. So I can have Liv try them on and see if they fit her, and then I'll know what size to list them for. So anyway, um, let me know, you guys. Thank you, Mom. Sorry, I'm hand sanitizing. Shoes and feet, just not my thing. 
But anyway, um, I'm pleasantly surprised by the box. It's um, not as fantastic as some and not as horrible as others. So um, do I think I can make my money back? Most likely. Hopefully I can turn a bit of a profit too. Um, if you guys are interested in anything that you see, let me know. You can email me at jamiewhitenight at yahoo.com um, or it will get listed eventually in my Poshmark closet. I'm not sure about today, guys. I have listed, I already listed a couple of items. I might get them listed um, or get a few things listed anyway. A few of them that don't need to be, um, have too much done to them. I might, I might fool around and list those tonight. Um, but if there's something that you're watching for, let me know. Um, we can make a deal. And um, let's see, what kind of weight loss update? Um, I am over 80 pounds now. Um, so... Um, scale moved again, so I'm over, over over 80 pounds lost now. I think it's 83 so far is where I'm at. I feel fantastic. Um, that's really that's really all I got today, guys. Tomorrow is definitely going to be a fun box Friday, and then I do have a name brand handbag box that just came today. Uh, I don't know yet. I might hold off on that one because I have not scored any boxes this week. Uh, and, I, you know, I didn't get any blue boxes either. So basically what I have for mystery unboxings and con video content are the two boxes that I currently have at the house. So with that, you guys, I'm going to go. Frank's getting yelled at for getting up on the couch. The producer's over here off to the side with her hands on her hips. If you guys could only see her, she looks really pissed off and it's kind of funny. Um, but anyway, with that, I'm going to go. Peace out.